We're one step closer to being forced to pay sales tax on items we buy online. ABC's Rebecca Jarvis is here to explain. Good morning, Rebecca. Bianna, good morning to you. A proposal to require online retailers to collect state and local sales tax has just cleared a major hurdle. Senators have agreed to end debate on the so-called Marketplace Fairness Act, setting up a final vote early next month. Now, it remains uncertain if the House will go along with it, but the president supports it, so there is a real possibility that this could become reality. What does it mean? Well, right now, states can only require stores to collect sales tax if the store has a physical presence in that state. Now, this bill would change that and treat online retailers just like brick and mortar stores. Traditional retailers like Walmart say that this is going to level the playing field, and even Amazon supports it because it already collects sales tax on some purchases. States well, they're desperate for revenue. They like it. So, Bianca, it is all of them lined up against consumers. Oh, and not a headline consumers like to hear. All right, Rebecca, thank you.